Hi, I'm Ellie. It's Ellie Perea. Here she comes. And that meet record might be in danger. 4.19.89. Perea, 4.16.86. She's done it. Ellie Perea, new American record. She's in a league of her own in this race. And she's going to become an Olympian. Ellie Perea, St. Pierre, is off to Tokyo. I grew up in northern Vermont and I went to the University of New Hampshire for four years. Now I am a professional runner for New Balance. When I was in high school, I really loved basketball. I played basketball all four years of high school. Before that, I was skiing, playing soccer, uh, softball. I loved all the different sports, but I feel like through those sports, I kind of found running. But one coach in particular, he convinced me to try out for the track team. and. I kind of never looked back after that. <laughs> it's a passion and it's what I love to do now. It's given me some of my very best friends. I get to be on this team now with some of the best runners in the world and we make each other better. You know, like, yeah, we're competitive, but we, we know that deep down we love each other and we're best friends. We just push each other every day. I also had another coach in high school who was a history teacher at Richford, he's definitely been a huge mentor of mine. I still talk with him pretty often. He's really the one that helped me fall in love with the sport and he helped me find a lot of similarities between running and farming. That's kind of how he helped me transition, you know, into a runner. The cows need to get milked every single day and twice a day at least, usually three times. And yeah, really similar to running where I have to try to train every day. Definitely the, the long days on the farm are a really different kind of tired than being tired on the track. But gosh, I really don't know which is harder. <laughs> When I'm not farming, when I'm not being a runner, my husband and I really love to drive around on all the back roads of Vermont and take in the views and the landscape and just really appreciate where we live. All of the watch parties when I was in Tokyo were just completely amazing to hear about and to see videos of. I felt so much love when I was in Tokyo all the way across the world and I still felt all the support from here and it just meant that I was running for them, not just myself, I was running for my family and all of Vermont and it just meant the world to me that I had all of that support. Can you ever imagine living anywhere other than Vermont? No. <laughs> nope, I love it here, I love Vermont. I'm so grounded here and until I went away I, I didn't realize how truly grounded I am here and yeah it's where my family is it's where my ancestors have been and it's where I love growing up on a farm was just a lifestyle it was you know a lot of long days but a lot of love and passion that went into working on the farm and I learned a lot of life lessons growing up on the farm you know d definitely learned how to work hard and that's been a huge asset to me in my career as a runner now but, you know, I, I think I also learned how to be resilient. Dairy farming is the backbone of our state and of our rural communities, and it's a great way to grow up. I just really hope that it stays here and kids will continue to have the opportunities that I had growing up on a farm because it's a great lifestyle to have. It provides so much for everybody that's involved, and it's beautiful, and it's a part of, of our culture here. So you've been to the Olympics, broken American records, you've got a ton of accomplishments. What do you have on your next set of goals? So I'll be trading for Paris 2024 and um, there's world championships in between and I'm hoping for a medal. That's the next goal. <laughs>